everybody, Mega Freak here, and I am uh, awaiting Serp, or I'm going after the Serp who's awaiting. So yeah, this is basically the factory level. It's just basically, um, uh, going into the factory that they lead him into and chasing after Serp. Uh, this Serp is, uh, the, of course, the boss. Captain Serp is the boss of this chapter. It's the last one she's the boss of, um, in terms of actually being a boss. Uh, she's not, I don't know, she's not hard and she is hard. By that I mean, she's hard in the sense that, uh, she's hard in the sense that if you're not careful, you, you could get screwed. Um, because she has one attack that is, can be very tricky, but, I don't know, would I consider her harder than the, the one from the uh, last game? Or, the last, uh... The one in her castle, would I consider this sort of harder? Uh, I'd probably say easier. It depends on how good you are at timing. She's, of course, I believe this is a lot harder to get removed. Or this is a, this one is a lot easier to get uh, removed by. Her removal is much more effective than this one. But in terms of hitting her, eh, it varies. Like I did really good on the last one because I just got lucky with the timing, cause the fire one. But at the same time. Um, but at the same time, this, uh, syrup, uh, but at the same time, like, I was lucky, but I could also, there's also times when you actually get, uh, she's really hard. You just have to be good with the time. So, you know, it varies. Um, the one thing I will say, though, is the first phase of her is really easy. It's only when she starts, well, you'll see. But in the meantime, I'm going to talk about a game that I haven't talked about, and it was released, uh, recently, or, actually, quite a while ago now. Uh, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Games, or Winter, no, wait, not Winter Games, it's the Winter Olympic, or, oh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games, I don't know, whatever, the, the Winter version of Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, uh, that was released the 16th, and it is now, uh, the 30th, it's almost the end of October, and I didn't talk about it, uh, what to talk about, well, I, I, I know people dislike it, and they say, oh my god, it's evil. Uh, well, you know what, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like the first one. Uh, for for with being with other people, like, if you were to play by yourself, eh. But for multiplayer purposes, it's actually pretty fun. Um, and the music in it is actually really good. You need to listen to music. Like, the opening music is really good, and you need to listen to that, because it actually does have some good music. Um, but, uh, I can see the complaint. People saying it's milking, and it's not, you know, not that good. But it's no different than, like, the Mario Party's to an extent. But, uh, Olympic Games? Eh, I don't know. I, I, I probably won't get in it only because, A, I don't have that many people to play it with. And again, it's more for multiplayer purposes. And B, there's much more important games I want. Like New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Phantom Hourglass. Or, Phantom Hourglass. Spirit Tracks. I would say Mario uh, Bowser since I story, but I have that now. Yay. Um, watch out for these Melody Apes. You don't want to go up there yet. That's where the uh, boss is. You want to go here. Now, here's how you get up here. See how I'm not jumping up there yet? Uh, because uh, you want to wait until almost it, when you start glowing and then jump at the last second. You'd have it. Uh, I messed up a few times. I didn't do it soon enough. But you want to uh, wait until you start glowing because you want to not. You want to make sure you don't go too far. Okay. So don't jump until. Uh, you're about ready to glow, or until the song gets to this point, like right this point right there, when it starts uh, that point, that's when you want to do it too, if you want to base it on musical uh, position. Then right here was when you want to do it. But yeah, get up here, and look, treasure room. Let's get our treasure on. It's treasure time. Treasure trove of treasure. Treasure. Let's see what we got. Yar har. Open my booty. Me booty. My booty. Me booty. Me booty. I don't know. Two, one. Uh, bottom left. There we go. And it's. Game Boy! Isn't that a paradox? We're playing this on a Game Boy, and we have a Game Boy inside the games that we're playing on the Game Boy. Therefore, it's a paradox 
and Wario will now explode. The end. Um, but yeah, it's another reference. Just like uh, the Metroid was beforehand, and just like the uh, uh, Ocarina. I would, I would say the Ocarina is definitely a reference. Maybe not, but I say it is. Uh, Yoshi Egg was a reference, definitely. I mean, like, uh, it's, it's Yoshi Egg. It's definitely a reference. But anyway, here's Syrup. Uh, I'm gonna show her removal, and then I'm gonna show you how easy it is to dodge her first form. She's in like this teacup saucer. Uh, she can hit you with that fire, but her removal is just knocking you off. That is why it's much more potent than the fire, because with the fire from uh, her castle, it's e can be fairly easy to dodge for the most part. Here, though, uh, it's not as easy to dodge getting knocked off a stage, you know? I think the ones where you actually get knocked off a stage are probably some of the most potent, or the Bubble King for that matter, because he kept putting you inside him, and oh god damn, I hate him. <sighs> Horrible memories. Oh. Okay. It's Captain Syrup. Okay, hit her here, hit her here, and then hit her here. That's how easy she is. That's freaking easy, but this part is when it gets, starts to get difficult. So start throwing bombs. Bombs? Uh, you have to jump on the bombs, make them land, and then you have to throw them at her. Uh, for whatever reason, and I'm not sure if I fall and then I do it, but for whatever reason, I took forever uh, on this attempt trying to hit her. Because, like, the one attempt I took so long because I kept, uh, falling over and over, but, like, I went way over. Not because she's exactly difficult, she just, you have to be lucky. I either get hit here, or I continue, uh... Or I just take forever with the second bomb. I couldn't get it up to her. But I, okay, yeah, I fall. But that second bomb, I kept not being able to hit her. Or even the first one for that matter. I couldn't hit her. But yeah, the first bomb will go right to the bottom. You just jump on it. That's easy. The second one will go a little higher the first time. And the second time, it goes lower. And then the third bomb, you'll see when I get to it. She's not that hard of a boss. And again, every single time. This, this works every single time. Every single time you come into the room for the first time. Uh, turn, go to the left. Shoulder barge her, shoulder barge her again, and then shoulder barge her when she gets on the floor. It, it works every time, and, and she's that easy. She must not eat her garlic. You know, I think garlic is the warrior like uh, spinach is to Popeye. This gives him the strength. Damn it. See, see, I kept, I kept messing up. I kept dropping the bombs. I think this is, yeah, this must be where I messed up here. Do 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 boo boo do boo do boo do. Come on, Wario. See, I kept messing up. I don't know why, I just really had a horrible aim. But no matter. She's not too difficult. Really, she's not really difficult. I say the Bubble King is, well, I don't know. The Bubble King was really annoying for me, but I don't know if he's technically all that difficult. The song is really catchy as well. Almost all the music is catchy. The music in general is catchy. There we go. One hit. And I miss here, I bet. Yep, I do. Seems like she has a crack. Oh, she's cracking her teacup, but it, because her shirt is white, it looks like it goes into her shirt almost. If that made any sense. Ah, I missed again. I should stop humming, but this song is really catchy, 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 catchy. Yeah, but see, like, once you get in the rhythm and once you know what, like, like the first time I did this, I not got knocked down several times because I didn't know uh, how the bombs move. But once you know how the bombs move, you have no problem with this at all. If you can hit her, which I can't. But bomb is like greener. It's like a Christmas bomb. Merry Christmas! I'll see you in hell. Uh, so this one will, uh, as you can see, ground pound. So what you need to do is jump when it ground pounds, pick it up, or step on it, pick it up, and she's dead. There we go. 
Wario beat Serp again with a Game Boy. You know what? I bet, I bet he, he just took the Game Boy, started playing it, got to this point in Wearland 2 and beat Serp while playing the Game Boy. So then it's a whole paradox. Then that Wario was playing Game Boy to beat Serp, so you just keep going on and on and on forever. <sighs> forever. So this is Mega F or Ben. This has been Mega Freak 400 reminding you uh, that chocolate cherries are really delicious.